Um, Sheikh, there are female relatives of mine who are my maham. They plan to go to Mauritania, our country of origin. And unfortunately, they want to travel there without a adult male maham who reach the age of puberty. And um, I try to explain that, that it's not permissible, but they are, but one of my female relatives tried to justify it by using the hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, um, it is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah in the last day to, tra to travel for one day and night except with a maham. So she tried, to, she tried to explain that she can travel below 24 hours, but traveling in the past is not like today. Today with a plane, you can take much distance in a short period of time, so I try to explain that it's about the distance, 24 hours. But she does not accept this explanation of mine. So what should I do? Okay. First of all, uh, Sidi, it is an issue of dispute among scholars when it comes in regards of traveling. The vast majority of schools of thought say that it's prohibited according to the hadith and small amount of scholars say that it is prohibited except for Hajj. And they give their explanations. But for general travel, the vast majority of them say it's prohibited. Why? Because there is a hadith. They counter that by saying there are other hadiths which state that it is not permissible for a woman that believes in Allah and the day of judgment to travel the distance of three days and the distance of a male, that is M-A-I-L, that it takes, Masafat Barid. And some say that in another hadith, the distance of a day and a night. So she or they, as your relative argues, is, an, is a clear evidence that as long as it's within this time frame, it is permissible. This is the problem when people don't have knowledge and they don't refer to the people of knowledge. If you ask the people of knowledge, the scholars, the real scholars, they'll clarify this for you because now there are hadiths, three days, two days, a day and a night, and the distance of male traveler, uh, uh, the postman, or indefinite. So, is there a contradiction in the religion? Definitely not. Then where is the contradiction? It's in your head. Scholars say that the Prophet ﷺ said these hadiths according to the person who questioned him. O oh, Prophet of Allah, can a woman travel the distance of three days, two days, one day? And he would say, it is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah and the day of judgment to travel the distance of three days, according to your question, two days, according to your question, one day, according to your question. But then he said, and in an authentic hadith, without any shred of doubt, it is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah and the day of judgment to travel without a male mahram. So the word to travel is am. It's general. There's nothing to specify it. There's nothing to limit it. So any type of travel, and the Arabs know that travel means to go out of the boundaries and the borders of your own city. But within the city, this commuting, this is not traveling. You can go from point A to point Z in your own city without a male mahram, on your own, maybe driving your own car. But to travel from city A to city B, which everybody acknowledges to be traveling, this is prohibited. Because then, if you want to use your relative's logic, there is no restriction for a woman to travel anywhere on this planet because no area would take more than three days to travel by plane or two days maybe, or even one day. Some people can go around the world in 24 hours. So this, does this mean that a woman can just pack her bags and go to the Maldives? Of course not. It is not permissible for them to travel without a male mahram. And this is the teaching of the Prophet, alayhi salam, and Allah knows best.